right, let's try some Bulgarian food. First stop for breakfast, banitsa. Banitsa, which is quite highly recommended actually. So let's go. Okay, Vana, actually it smells so good in here. I would encourage you to get whatever you like. And I guess bonitsa is like yeah, borak, sort of. Sort of like a spiral pastry. And cheese and spinach or pumpkin. Oh my gosh, it looks good. You want anything else, Steve? Um, no, that's okay, just for breakfast, small one. Someone told us to uh, try this, boza. Boza? Yeah, get it. Looks like chocolate milk. Although I think it's not chocolate milk. I don't think so. Get a small one, just a Yeah, get a small one. What is it? I don't know. What's the difference here? They're uh, red and... You want of each, man. Okay. We'll Thanks share. Okay, one banitsa and two boza. Thank you. Thank you. Tell you what, it sounds like one banitsa and two bozos, man. <laughs> I think I want you to try this first. Really? Yeah. Do you know what's inside of it? And are you not kind telling of. me for some... Yes. Some excitement factor i want to know your reaction oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh okay i'm nervous it's stuck to the bottom a little bit very thick inside boza what does it smell like <laughs> what does it taste like it's not bad it almost tastes like 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 oatmeal like it tastes like it's like a oh. breakfast drink like a meal replacement. Right, right. You know those things you buy in a can? Yeah. Meal replacement? I would assume it's an all natural, probably healthy thing. Most Bulgarian food is like natural, veggies, meat, potato, cheese. I wouldn't say I love it though because it's mystery. Okay. It's actually made from wheat. Wheat, it is made yeah, from wheat. wheat. Yeah, it tastes wheat. like an oatmeal type thing. Like a fermented wheat. Fermented wheat? Yeah. Okay, something new. Um, I wouldn't say it's bad, but not my favorite. <laughs> Very thick. <laughs> Tastes like um rice a little bit. Tastes a bit like, like rice, a yeah. Roasted toasted rice drink. A roasted toasted rice drink. It's wheat. Made from wheat. Pretty okay. Good, actually. I kind of like it. Really? Yeah. Here, try the red. I'll try the orange. Maybe there's a different flavor happening here. Almost the same. For me, same, same. I'm sure there's a difference, but. Yeah. Fermented rice. Okay. Something new. I like it. <laughs> Something new. And now, onto the, onto the main event. Yeah. Uh, you look at this and you think, how could this be bad? Banitza, baby. This is, this is good. I can I already like... tell this is good. Ooh, look at the oil. It's flaky, it looks flaky. Oh my gosh. That's good. We just got the plain cheese. Mm. Oh, it's good. I can hear the crispiness. Mm -hmm. So good. And warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at the layers. Yeah, it's good, right? And the cheese. Look at the layers on the cheese. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's hot actually. And actually, I love the packaging. It's almost like newspaper. Mm -hmm. It's not actually newspaper, it's like a, you know, proper packaging. But the way it looks, uh, it looks delicious, man. Very good. The layers on, on the top is very crispy. The inside, very soft. Oily, very good. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. It's actually so good. The banitza is so good. Right? It's soaking wet. When you eat it with your fingers, your fingers are covered in oil. And the cheese in there is just nice. It's so good. Five star food. <laughs> mm. Mm. Nice food. That could be a daily eater because there's Borek I shops. So. Ooh, that could be a daily eater because there's Bonitsa shops around everywhere. Yeah. You can walk down any street, it feels like, and find some Bonitsa. Let me tell you, five star food. Very good. Yeah, five stars for sure. Mm. I just love the pastry. It's crispy on the outside, but it's not hard. Yeah. Very crispy. And in the inside, it's just juicy uh -huh. with that oil. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. Very nice blend of crispy and flaky, but also soaking wet. 
Flaky and wet is an interesting combo. Very good. Very good. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Now, moving on from the Banitsa, um, along the streets, when you walk down the street in Bulgaria, I love the way they put the food in the window. Mm -hmm. Barbecue, pizza, whatever it is. Sometimes they have a huge grill and they put all the meat right up to the front window. It makes you very hungry. So our next goal is to walk down a road and find some probably barbecue, probably meat. Oh yeah, maybe kebab. Kebab, sausage, Coffee. something. Yeah. Let's go eat. The food tour has just begun. I'm not a huge fan of the boza. <laughs> it tastes like something the army would drink. Like meal replacement. Yeah. Like you don't have time to eat, you just drink this. It's got all the nutrients with not much of the flavor. I think people eat that for breakfast or just drink it for breakfast, like a quick thing. You know? <laughs> I'll stick with bacon and eggs. I don't mind it. So this is what I mean. You walk inside and right by the window, oh yeah. This looks like chicken wrapped in bacon or something. It looks like pork bellies over there. Uh, super duper good looking food. Ooh, how about this one with some kind of veggies and cheese inside, no? <laughs> Super duper nice. And this might even be a banitza in a different form. Because oh, yeah, 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 some yeah. of the banitzas are like a spiral, like this morning. That's and some right. of them are more like that. Yeah. So, something nice. I love this place. Local place and very quiet. Uh, coffee? Coffee? Yes. Yeah. The meat of... No no, no, no. Sorry. Not coffee, um, Ivana. Oh, that's... Coffee. Uh, <laughs> coffee, coffee. Sorry, sorry. Here, take away. Maybe outside. Okay. Thank you, thank you. And one, two? Uh, two coffee and you want kebab? Kebabche. Yeah. Kebabche. And no kebabche, cake, that's so funny, she thought you said coffee. <laughs> She's like, coffee, okay. <laughs> yeah, two kebabs, two cup, cup cheese. Yeah. Have shopski? No shopski. By the way, the um, pick your own dish is very popular here. Can I have salad? Uh, maybe the yogurt? Yes. Okay, yes, that one is good. Okay, okay. that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah, pay by weight. You want uh, a Salad? You have Shopsky salad? No. Yes. Shopsky. 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 <laughs> Number one. Rakia. Uh, Rakia? Rakia? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Paprika, <laughs> plus one kebab, two cube Cheese. Uh, Shopsky, and Cheese. 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 Please. Bread. 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 No bread. Bread, no. Okay. Very good cheese. Cheese. Uh, Cake, sorry. Cake. Very good. Domasno, Bulgaria, I mean. You make it. Yeah. One piece of cake. Please. What, what one, kind? one. What cake? Cake, Domasno. Domasno, oh, Bulgaria. Ah. She made it, Ivana. You, okay. you must try. It looks so good. Okay, one cake, please. This is, this is pretty typical of our experience in a store like this. We go in for one thing, you buy five things. Looks good, right? Oh, that's a rakia. Rakia. Oh, homemade. <laughs> yes, no. Okay. Very good rakia. Very good rakia. <laughs> Number one. Ah. <laughs> I love the fact that rakia is in a, in a plastic bottle, yeah. two liter bottle. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, good. Good, very good. Good, very good. Oh my gosh. This is the most nerve-wracking moment of my life. Go ahead, go ahead. Almost dumped on my rakia. Hit by a biker. Wow. I tell you what, I am so glad that the rakia came out of a plastic bottle. <laughs> Two liter plastic bottle. Looked like a former apple juice bottle. That's the way homemade alcohol has got to be. Yeah. Eat it, eat it. Now, yeah. I thought Shopska salad had the cheese broken on top. Maybe yeah, you can, I think so. Maybe you can chop the cheese yourself or something. 
And it does look good. And you've got the kebab over there. Very dense. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it sort of crumbles like that, doesn't it? Oh, it's actually a good looking cheese, isn't it? Yeah. Again, kind of looks homemade. Maybe. Yo, that plate looks pretty good, Ivana. With the meat and veg and cheese. Mm. Good, right? Very fresh. I think it's very fresh. And the kebab? It just looks fresh. Right? I think this is influenced by Turkish food. Must be. Because in Turkey, it's also called kebab. Over here, kebabcha. 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 Mm. Yo, Ivana, mm -hmm. looks nice, dude. It's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Sorry. Pretty good, I said. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Mm-hmm. Simple. Not so Very many simple. spices, more just good ingredients and you taste the ingredients. Yeah. The kebab is just very simple. No, nothing like crazy spices or anything like that. Yeah. And a little bit bouncy. Kind of like the meat. But I think the meat, I'm not sure if it's pork or beef. I think it's chicken. Chicken? I don't know. It's white. Chicken kebab? See? Oh, baby. I'm not sure. Mystery meat kebab. Okay, but first things first. Cheers to me. Quite good. Quite smooth. Oh yeah. I'm not much of an alcohol guy, more of a beer guy. <laughs> um, but smooth. Doesn't have that when it's when it's not good, it has wow. that burning kind of gross. So they did say it was this the best. Pretty one. smooth. Actually quite good. Um actually quite good. Now, your analysis is this is more like a sausage and less like a meatball. Yeah. What do you think? It does taste like chicken a bit. Yeah, the texture is very, very smooth, very mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. But it is different than turkey. Listen, obviously the food here is influenced by turkey. Mm -hmm. But it is different. Yeah. We've heard before that Turkey invented the food and the Balkans perfected it. <laughs> I'm not saying that's true, but uh, it is different. Now, in terms of Shopsky salad, this is one of the highly recommended foods of Bulgaria. So I will say it's good, although it's just salad. Maybe I'm not a salad guy. Maybe that's a problem. More than the salad, I just prefer the cheese. I would just eat the cheese. Because it's very good cheese. Very good cheese. Salty? Salty cheese. <laughs> and it has that that texture where it's homemade. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't taste like cheese from the grocery store. Mm. The cheese is very good. I would say five star cheese. Wow. Yo, the cheese is so good. <laughs> okay. mm, the cheese is so good. <laughs> Now, this Shopska salad doesn't look like the pictures I've seen online, so maybe we'll try it at another place too. I got it, I got it. Yeah. I got it. You just smash the cheese. <laughs> you smash it, it'll turn to little bits. You know what I mean? I think it's a different cheese that they use. She said this was a good cheese, so I said, okay, go for it. It's better like this. The cheese is all mixed in, you know? Pretty good. Now, Ivana, you go ahead and try your. Um, Yogurt and peppers, right? So this is the meatballs. And the other one was uh, the kebab. So let Ooh. me see the inside of that and tell me it's different. It does look kind of the same. Yeah, it does look kind of the same. Huh. Same, right? Hmm. Kofta, I think it's similar to kebab, but it's more flavorful. I think they put more like onions. They put like um, green onions in it, garlic maybe. It's oh, really? more flavorful than the kebab. Oh really? Yeah, same, um, similar texture, but it's more flavorful. To me, I prefer the kofte. Actually, you're right. You can see little bits of green in it. Yeah. It's got like some. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? You see some see some different parts mm -hmm. in there. So you prefer the kofte to the kebab chop. Mm -hmm. I prefer it. Fair. Now, eat this thing, which is, I think is just a bell pepper that's been covered in yogurt. Yeah, I think so too. Is it raw bell pepper? Can be cooked a bit. Maybe maybe with oil. It have been raw. I mean, this might be pretty good. And by the way, the other highly recommended thing in Bulgaria, one is a salad, two is the yogurt. Mm. So, 
I don't know if this is cheese. Oh my god, it's good yogurt. Is it yogurt or cream cheese? I think it's yogurt and cream cheese. It might just be cream cheese. I think it's both. It's pretty good. Yo, that yogurt is so good. <laughs> That's Taste good. this. The Put yogurt? That. Put that with the kebab. Good idea. Yogurt good idea. and kofte, not kebab. Sorry, kofte and that. It's going to be so good. Mm -hmm. Good, right? I'll give you a piece. Oh, that sounds like an amazing flavor. Yeah, don't be shy. The yogurt is like cheese. Is right? it cheese or yogurt? <laughs> I think it might be mixed. It's good. That's mm. nice food. Very good, no? That's super nice food. Now. Do you like the kofte or kebab better? Kofte or kebab better? Um, kofte or ko kofte is better. Mm -hmm. Kofte is better. Try right, just the kofte. It's got more flavor than kebab. Kofte has onion. Yeah. And other flavors in it. Yeah. I think it's also mm, the meat. You can taste the meat more here. Let me see. I think this one is pork. Really? Yeah. I think this one is pork. I can taste the porkness in Okay, Ivana, let's eat because it actually just started raining, which is a massive bummer. Mm. Um, and we still got the dessert to try. I know. Do you want to go for dessert now? Yeah. Go Why ahead, not? Ivana. Looks good, right? Mm -hmm. It looks like a layered cake. Oh, it looks good, right? It looks layered. Woo! I got some blueberry, I guess. It's layered with whipped cream, I'm guessing, and blueberries, and on top, they put some nuts, some kind of nuts on top. Super good. Very good, actually. Yes, and um... It's not overly sweet. Mm. It's kind of like the Bulgarian tiramisu. It's like tiramisu, but but not sweet. Very, very, ooh, very flavorful and good. Mmm. -hmm. I can taste the blueberry really. Yeah, I think really the good. bottom is a graham cracker, no? It has a bit of graham flavor. I think they put coconut shredded one on top. Mmm. Mm. Very good. Alright, tell you what. The Bulgarian food tour has just begun. So let's keep eating our way around this country and see what we can find. Nice looking food. Yo, really? This stuff is a mystery. Salty, cream cheese. Potentially yogurt. <laughs> very good. They're very good, right? Mm-hmm. But very salty. <laughs> Yo, if you're lactose intolerant, don't go to Bulgaria. <laughs> That's true. Some of the best stuff is a dairy. Yeah. True, right? Slam it. Rakia in a coffee cup, espresso cup. Perfect. It smells like apple juice. Really good apple juice. <laughs> I think that's how you say cheers in Bulgarian. Good one. Cheers. Very fruity. Mm. What fruit is it from? Do you know? Maybe plum. It smells like apple. Maybe quince. Mm. Very good, very strong. Bitter, but fruity as well and sweet. Does it burn your Long throat? Flavor. No, it's very smooth. I like it. Oh my god, I can feel the heat. <laughs> True, right? Mm. Stomach is hot. I know. It's spring in it's Bulgaria, but it's hitting up my body. It's mid August in my belly. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. All right, the food hunt continues. Now that it's 1 30 p.m. and I'm half drunk. <laughs> Racky your brain!
hey, check this place out. Restaurant in the park with greenery all around. Let's go. I'm hungry. Good looking restaurant. Let's go. Tell you what, I love the menu. So old school and so simple. Makes me think the food is better, no? <laughs> I love a restaurant like this. Very traditional. Very nice. We wanna go for fried lamb brains. Really? Do it. You know me, I can't do it. Will you do it? With butter or just fried? I'd go for brains and butter. <laughs> if I were you, I mean. <laughs> now that is a good looking Shopska salad. Mm -hmm. This is what I had in mind with the uh, shredded cheese. But it looks very simple. Peppers, tomatoes, cucumber, onion, and cheese on top. I think it's simple, but I think it's simply delicious. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> mm. The cheese makes it Chew, right? Yeah. Yeah, good. Very good cheese. Good, good, good. I think the Shopska salad we tried earlier was not the best version. I think this is the more traditional one. Yeah. The cheese is different. It melts in your mouth. Really? It's like you don't need uh, any um, dressing, any salad dressing. It's just the cheese. And really? it's very creamy. So there's no dressing, maybe some oil. Mm, I don't think there's oil. Just veggie and cheese. Mm -hmm. That must be some good cheese. Let's eat, man. Maybe we're supposed to put the oil ourselves. I don't know. Maybe no need. I can't believe this salad is one of the national dish. True, right? Better. Might be weird getting a salad and soup. No, no problem. But this is a cold soup. Cold soup with yogurt, dill, and cucumber. Really? Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Soup and a salad. You're so healthy, Ivana. It is. It looks healthy, isn't it? It looks like health food. <laughs> really? I'm on a diet, baby. <laughs> If you're on a diet, why are you coming to Buggy right now? It's a cold salad. Mm. I said salad because it tastes like a salad. Really? It's soup. It tastes like a salad. It's, it's liquid salad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, something good. Cold something new. soup. Cold soup. This is your soup. Mm. Wow, you're the soup queen, Ivana. This is yours. Oh, thank you. <laughs> laughing at our filming. Uh, we just filming want scene. to try everything. Said how this is Like wow, this girl eats a lot. <laughs> a lot of soup and salad. The server is like but okay. It's very fresh. Mm. The dill flavor mm. complements the cucumber. It's so fresh. I don't know how to explain it. It's good for, I think, a hot day. Uh, dill, cucumber, and yogurt. Mm -hmm. You're right. It sounds like it's very refreshing. Sort of light. Mm -hmm. Very refreshing and light. Nice. I'm going to try it. Go ahead, Ivana. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go for this one. This is the... Um, tripe soup. Tripe soup. Mm -hmm. Which go. is a Balkan classic, and I'm excited for it. And they give you uh, chili and garlic, I think. This is chili. I'll put some. Maybe not too much, but I will... Um, a little bit and this one should be garlic oil i bet you this stuff is super duper flavorful i might go for a double dose of the garlic oil. i might go for a triple dose of the garlic oil i might go for a quadruple dose of the garlic oil don't be afraid uh tripe soup so are we using the word chorba in bulgaria maybe it's chorba no idea. okay anyway it reminds me of uh chorba yeah chorba i think so Ooh, that is some good soup. Really? Mm -hmm. It's sour? Um, it's not sour at all. You do have the tripe flavor, but it's not overpowering. Obviously, uh, tripe itself is not the most delicious flavor for me, but if you do it right in a soup like this, mm -hmm. the tripe flavor kind of complements the other ingredients right. quite good. Mm -hmm. um, I will say five-star soup. What? Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Let me see the tripe. You haven't... Oh, there it is. There you go. Mm. This tripe is very soft, mm -hmm. very soft, almost melt in your mouth. This is good tripe soup. I do prefer sour. Maybe I can add some vinegar. Is it wrong? I don't think so. I'm gonna make a little bit sour. But even without the vinegar, nice soup. Oh, the sour is good. Sour and tripe go together very nicely. 
Mm -hmm. Like I said, five star soup. Yeah, uh, go ahead. You might love this, Ivana. I did add some vinegar. Maybe I should have not messed with it too much before you tried it. But I didn't put too much vinegar. Just a bit sour and uh, a bit spicy. And the tribe. It was good, right? Wow. Yeah. Let you'll me try be amazed. The soup first. You'll be amazed how uh, how soft the tribe is. Oh my is. god. Good flavor, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, it's so good. Good, right? <laughs> Let me try it with the tribe, though. Mm. The tribe melts in your mouth. Super soft, right? Yes. Yeah, good. Super soft. And we have tried tribe soup in Turkey as well as in Romania. Uh -huh. They all taste different. True, this right? Is, yeah, they all taste different. I think this one got a little bit of like sweetness in it. Uh -huh. Not too sour. In Romania, it's very sour because of the sour cream. Uh -huh. In uh, Turkey, it was very oily. Yeah. Not not sour, not sweet. I think this one got a little bit of sweetness. I think because of the red from, uh, I think it might be pepper, red bell peppers. Uh huh. Good soup though, right? Oh yeah, the taste is amazing. Yeah, very good. Oh my god. I think I prefer this one. Same. Over the tarot. Same. Same. Even on a hot day. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> Five stars. Five I mean, stars. I think this is six stars. Oh, very good. Oh my god. Top top tribe soup. Very, very, very good. Mm. Okay, let's eat up. This is like our appetizer, more or less. Mm -hmm. Then we got some more food coming. Let's eat, man. Amazing. Mm. Even just the cheese? Very good. Mm. Yeah, the cheese is very creamy. It's creamy. It's uh -huh. salty. Good uh -huh. cheese. Uh -huh. Sorry. It's actually pretty good. I never had cucumber in a soup before. You know? It's okay. It's okay? For me, that's a bit like... Oh, okay. Tastes very healthy, <laughs> so I don't love it. If I'm gonna eat some. So solid. If I'm gonna eat some food, I want it to be meat, fried in <laughs> butter or something. <laughs> but it tastes good. But it's just very fresh, very healthy. This with the cheese. Oh my god. Yo, some of that shredded cheese on the whole top of the whole soup would be nice. Mm -hmm. True, right? Mm -hmm. mm. I believe it. With cheese. Very good. And now for the main event. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I got pork knuckle. Pork knuckle, which in my experience is so delicious in every country I've ever had it. I'm sure the Bulgarian version is no exception. <laughs> look at the meat, look at the meat. Oh, eat it, eat it. Or even better, let me eat it, let me eat it. That's gonna be good, babe. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Impossible to dislike. Very good. It's funny you went from a very light salad, cucumber salad, to pork knuckles. <laughs> of course. It comes with salad. Good. Cabbage. Mm. Flavoring is very good. Very rich. I think they like uh, paprika here. Uh huh. I think you're right. Mm. So and, good. And I got the. Stuffed peppers mm -hmm. with yogurt, mm -hmm. which again, how can this be bad? This is like a Balkan specialty, I'm sure. Bulgarian version, very yummy. Yeah, yeah, very good, very good. Mm. Let's eat, man. I tell you what, first things first, uh, Bulgarian beer, five star beer. Mm -hmm. It's a good beer. Very good. I gotta ask him for the name of the bottle, the green bottle. Nice beer. And I'm sure it pairs very well with uh, stuffed peppers. I'm gonna go fork and spoon, is that crazy? <laughs> a little bit. I think it's the right idea. What do you think? Yeah. Because the peppers are so soft, the spoon goes right through. I think fork and spoon is the right move. And usually it's with sour cream, but in Bulgaria with yogurt. Which is a new twist. And stuffed with rice. Oh, stuffed with rice. Oh, it's going to be so good. Stuffed pepper. Mm. 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 Very good. Uh, the big thanks to the guy working here. When I ordered some peppers, he said, get yogurt, get yogurt. Ah. I said, with yogurt? He said, get yogurt. He's right, it's good with yogurt. Mm. Absolutely five star food. I love the oil in the bottom of the dish here. You can scoop up extra oil and, uh, and put some yogurt. And don't mind if I do, Ivana. Oh. Oh man, the pork knuckle is so good. Okay, <laughs> pork knuckle be bad. The seasoning is just right, isn't it? And the meat is so tender. 
The pork knuckle, six star. Let's be clear. Super good food. Mmm. Mmm. Super, super good. Do you want to just me to have both? Are you hungry? You look full. I'll have both. No problem. Mmm. Mmm. All right, let's eat, babe. Mm. I tell you what though, you you like this stuff ever. It's just nice. Let's switch. Can. I mean, not switch, but half half. <laughs> can. Oh yeah. You're gonna love it, babe. Even the pepper, I can see like dill. I think. Oh yeah. Good way. Right? Very comfort food. Yeah, very good. Mm. And with yogurt, very nice. The yogurt is a nice touch, actually. Mm -hmm. And very Bulgarian twist. Is there any meat in it? I don't think there's meat in it, no. I think it's rice and, and sauce. No, I don't think so. You got like shredded carrots and some green stuff. Yeah. But no need for the meat because no. you, you match this with pork knuckle. Perfect order. We luckily got the perfect order, Ivana. Yeah, very good. Good order. Mm -hmm. Stuffed peppers and pork knuckle. Mm. Six stars restaurant. Ooh. Absolutely right. Very good. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Give me you the big piece. Oh, Ivana. Because I love you. That's love right there. I love pork knuckle too. I mean, I love you too. <laughs> really this is a thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pudding. Cream caramel. Cream caramel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Super nice guy. He says, you want some dessert? We said, yeah, I have no space for dessert. Yeah, he brought one anyway. No problem. Go Cream ahead, Ivana. Nice guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're going to love Ivana. Oh. Oh, you're going to love. He knew. He knew. We had to end it with this. Yeah, yeah. He knew. <laughs> I actually am so full so though, good. but out of respect to him, I'm gonna I'm finish that dessert. It's pudding, you can you can eat pudding. You always got room for pudding. Pudding is like so light. <laughs> Caramel pudding. Very good. <laughs> pretty, pretty good. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. 43 leva. Good price. Who brought this guy to the restaurant? Oh my goodness. I was eating it exactly half, okay, to ensure fairness. Look at my line. Ah, okay, good. Rest for you, Ivana. Thanks, babe. All right, we could absolutely not make a Bulgarian food video without showing you guys our favorite restaurant in all of Sofia. I think you've seen this place two or three times on our channel. So let's go eat what I think is the best food in Sofia. This one is something new. Yes, but I new. Can I have one? Yeah, yeah. Please. Okay, no problem. Thank Hello. you, bro. Thank you, bro. What is this one? This is uh, meat and uh, same cover kebab. It's very good. Ah. One will one make it, yes. Uh, kabarma? Yes. Oh, kabarma. Okay. I'll get rice in this. Yes, uh, take away, yeah? Um, we can eat here. We can eat outside. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Tell you what, I'm, I'm also thinking about the chicken wings, you wanna? <laughs> but I'm gonna go for that chicken and rice baked together. It looks good. I tell you what, everything here is good. And maybe this is the best way to describe Bulgarian food. It's Turkish food with pork. Yes. Because the guy here says it's Turkish food and yet Ivana's getting pork. So maybe this could be her description. It's like Turkish food, but with pork. <laughs> this one, Bulgarian food. Yes. This one Turkish? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because have two cooked. Two, okay. Yes. Ah, uh, so these dishes are Bulgarian food? Yes. Okay, okay. Mamu. Looks good. Oh, yeah. Which one do you like? Turkish food or Bulgarian food? Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Turkish food. <laughs> I tell you what. A lot of the food in Bulgaria, and especially at this restaurant, is very oily, it's very fatty, and it feels very heavy. Mm -hmm. The thing is, our waistlines have not sustained too much damage. <laughs> True. I think it's 
fatty, but it's like natural ingredients that are pretty fresh. Yeah. And so no preservatives, no fake food. And so it's actually kind of light in, in a heavy way. Yeah, that's it's right. It's like you eat a huge meal, you feel full, and then half an hour later, you're doing jumping jacks. You know? Oh, it's just deep? I mean, the rice is super good. It's, it like it's almost like sticky rice. Is it risotto? It's almost like risotto. It's really good. Five star food. Best restaurant in Sofia. <laughs> we obviously haven't tried them all, but super nice restaurant. We come here almost every day. Mm. Mm. Very good. Five star food. For me, I got the a dish called Tavarma, which is like a pork stewed with vegetables and lots of oil, it seems like. <laughs> That's like I'm saying, it looks oily, but it's not really yeah. heavy. It's really mm. nice food then. It smells very, 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 very good. Let me eat it. Now, I'm not sure if you're supposed to traditionally eat this with bread, the kavarma. But this time, I'm eating it with rice. A mix of Turkish and Bulgarian. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh, looks, yeah. looks good, right? Mm -hmm. That orange sauce with the oil looks so flavorful. I love it. In Bulgaria also, they have really, really good pork dishes. Very good. Yeah, true. I think lots of the oil itself is from the pork itself. I think you're right. Yes, I like natural right. pork Yes, oil. it's not like some low quality cooking oil. Mm -hmm. It's oil from the meat. Yeah, I mean, look at it. Oh, look at it. Pure fat. Oh I mean, my gosh, if you this. want Ivana, I can have that bite. Up to you. No pressure. I like fat. Oh, okay. it's so good. No, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, joking. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but look how good that looks. You also get salad. It's a must in a, when you eat a Bulgarian meal. Salad is a must. This one looks like really thick in... Uh, mayonnaise? No. I have no idea. Let's try it. Almost looks like tuna salad. Mm, yogurt. Yogurt, of course. Of course, yogurt. Yeah. So it's... Um, this one got carrots, dill and yogurt very good bulgaria really got really fresh and good salad surprising food mm -hmm. and actually lots of dill sometimes in mm -hmm. the yogurt which gives a nice flavor doesn't it that's right very flavorful all right Ivana, let's mm. eat we got a piece in front of let's us eat. and guys stay tuned to the video because we will eat more yes across this delicious country <laughs> all right let's eat honestly i think the yogurt here is very different because when i make salad at home with yogurt, it's no good. But here, it tastes very rich. True, right? Mm -hmm. Very creamy. Very, very rich. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very good. Mm. Five stars. Oh my god, I'm so satisfied. Same. But we're about to go on a three-hour journey to Feliko Tarnopo from Sofia. So we're gonna, I think, get some takeout from this restaurant. Of course. I saw some moussaka and sarma. Very good. to Felico Tarnovo. Three hours bus ride from Sofia, but we didn't snack on the bus because we got separated, different seats. So sad. <laughs> and also that food from the morning kept me full until now it's like around eight o'clock. True. Yeah. True so fact. We're gonna have our moussaka and sarma now. So let's try it. By the way, so good moussaka. Yeah, we've had it actually on our first day in Sofia. On like our I, first impressions video, you'll see it. And like, we're having it again. Like I said, guys, this mm. restaurant is top for us. Mm -hmm. Super good food. Very good. This one is with potato and minced meat. Potato, minced meat, and I guess eggs on top. So I think uh, the grease, Greek moussaka, they cook it with eggplants, but this one is with potatoes. Very nice. Super mm. nice. It's almost like a potato lasagna. That's my description of moussaka. That's my rough impression. Comfort food all the way. Super good. Now I'm going to grab one of these sarmales and let you keep going. Yeah, sure. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. 
grape leaf stuffed with rice so we've had this in turkey before but the difference is in turkey they cook it with tomato sauce i don't think they have any no. tomato sauce inside but i can taste very very strong dill flavor yeah dill and a bit sour yes but no tomato no tomato i guess in bulgaria in bulgarian cuisine they like to use a lot of dill yeah including the sarma still good very good yeah mm. nice very good i'll say five stars five stars this restaurant is so good mm -hmm. and by the way guys let's continue the food vlog somewhere amongst this beautiful place Woo! feeling grateful to be here quiet streets and a beautiful sunset view so let's keep eating she says with a mouthful of sarma okay let's go very garlicky and uh, mushroomy but let's try the beef tongue beef tongue now I've had beef tongue before and I liked it but oh, you can really see the shape of the tongue Steve <laughs> hold on shape of the tongue yeah. Uh, yeah true right I tell you what shout out to my food phobia because two years ago I would not have even tried beef tongue oh, whereas I stand here before you someone genuinely interested in trying this i think it will be very good is my point with mushroom and some kind of cream sauce let's try mushroom oh and cream my god sauce it was so tender tongue. already <laughs> it would make sense the tongue is very soft because the muscle itself is so used mm. if tongue is it me it's muscle. muscle. Yeah, it's meat. It's meat like anything else. But it's very tender meat, I would guess, because it's tongue. Oh, good. Very tender meat. That's right. That's the way to describe it. Yeah. Melt in your mouth. So good. I wish the portion was bigger. <laughs> but amazing. Yeah, it looks good, Ivan. I'm I mean, ready to you try. gotta try. You gotta I'm try. ready to try. I mean, this is already like six stars for you. Really? Mm hmm. Okay, let me try, let me try, let me try. Try it. You've done a good sales pitch. So good. Uh, this is gonna be super good. I already know it's good. I wonder if uh, the people watching at home would look forward to beef tongue or be nervous of it because... Oh, it's super good. <laughs> right? It's funny because it's so... Um, there's not a lot of fat. I think they add oil to cook it with because it's it's just butter. oh butter tongue it's and beef butter. tongue and butter yeah, that's yeah. why because there's no fat in beef tongue mm -mm. oh it's quite good right yeah it's quite good um and Very the butter tender. is the right idea because without it you just have meat this is meat and butter right i think you might be right six star food <laughs> it was very tender <gasps> oh my goodness mm. yeah. and the mushroom is the right idea to top it off. Yeah, that you didn't actually, even like mushroom before. No, that makes it much better. The uh, oh, really? barbecued mushroom makes it much better. <laughs> Yum. Super good. I wish there was a um, bigger portion. Right? Very good. Oh, the tongue is really nice. Oh, there's, oh it's really good. Mm. And the mushrooms and butter is the right add-on. Mm -hmm. Yum. Mm. This is only appetizer. Go have one. Mm. Six star food. Uh, come for the food, stay for the view. Yay. Really nice place to eat. Okay, round two. Something called Bulgarian mishmash, right? Yeah. So it's got eggs inside, it's got peppers inside. It's probably got meat inside, I would assume. And cheese. And cheese and veg. This is almost like all of the different Bulgarian foods in some sort of casserole and or quiche and or baked deliciousness. I can definitely see a lot of cheese coming out. Oh yeah? Which uh, should be good because salty cheese and me are good friends. And I can I can feel the eggs inside. It's a bit like a, uh, it's a bit like a breakfast food. Yeah. It's like an omelet almost. Like a huge omelet. Like scrambled eggs. 
That's why it's called mishmash, like all everything mixed together. I get it. It's like a massive omelet. Yeah. Um, very good. The tomatoes in Bulgaria are very good. Really? Right? Yeah, it's good. What's amazing is they don't put many spices. You taste tomatoes. You taste peppers. You taste salty cheese. Mm -hmm. But you don't taste 10 or 15 different spices. This is the opposite food of Pakistan and India, where <laughs> all you taste is spices. This is very uh, quality ingredient driven. Mm. And the cheese for me is the best part. Honestly, I think it's impossible to dislike this one. It's <laughs> yeah, impossible I can see to dislike. a thick, thick, very thick cheese. That's what I mean, look at the size of the cheese. And, and it's wrapped up in fresh tomatoes, uh, some coriander. eggs around it, and coriander. No. Mm. Go ahead, Ivana, you'll love it. You'll love it. I think this is like kind of like a quiche. Sort kind of like quiche. quiche kind of thing. Yeah. Like a right. Bulgarian quiche. Bulgarian it is uh, quiche, you're mash, right that. mash eggs, mash eggs, <laughs> and baked. Let's try it. I still have the tongue. I'll save the tongue for last because it's the best oh, thing. Oh, you're now. so lucky. By the way, that's good husbanding. I gave you the last tongue. Hey, Tell no, the people we at home what I did. Too. Tell the people at home what I did. Okay, you gave me the last tongue. Oh, we had two each. Two each though. But so, the last one I grabbed from so, the plate, so that counts. So really what happened was I ate my two very fast and there was one of yours left over. Yeah. And then I let you have it. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I exaggerated my own goodness. Oh, it's hot. Mm. And also, it's very creamy, tomatoey, sweet peppers. I think Bulgarian use a lot of sweet peppers. And they have, they have good flavor in the vegetable. Yes. Like the tomato itself is good. I think this is like the natural Bulgarian cuisine. They let the natural flavor of the veggies to uh, yep. to come up on top. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're right about that. To be the star. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's not very, very, as you said, it's not like Pakistani or Indian food where it's like rich in like curries and spices. But it's very flavorful. Maybe salt and pepper is the only spice you need. Flavorful the of the tomato itself and the oil, I guess, from the cheese that is melting together uh -huh. with the tomato, with the peppers. All very natural, good. baby. All mm -hmm. natural. Actually, I feel healthy eating this. Exactly. It's I don't sort feel of like guilty. Exactly yeah. right. It's somehow, it's somehow sort of light also, mm -hmm. isn't it? Even though there is cheese in it. Look at cheese. Very good. I like it. Mm. Okay, man, let's eat. And we still got mm -hmm. one more coming. Mm -hmm. Let's eat. Very good. All right, last but not least, this is grilled pork belly. Which, to be clear, I've had before. But to be clear, is one of the best foods money can buy. Mm -hmm. Pork belly off the barbecue is amazing. And uh, based on what we've learned about Bulgaria, how good they are with meat and how good they are with quality of ingredients, I'm sure these are going to be yummy. Oh, that looks fatty. I'm worried that it. the star of the vlog is the cow tongue already. We made a mistake in the cow tongue before this because this is like <laughs> maybe not as good as the cow tongue, but we'll go for it. Tender. The thing that's different about the pork belly to the cow tongue is actually the texture of the cow tongue is, is not great. It's a bit soft. What? The texture of this is a crunch and a bounce to it. I love the softness that just melts in your mouth. Uh huh. Mm. The pork belly is very good. How can pork belly be bad? I will say this though: the pork belly, five stars. The cow tongue, definitely six stars. It's unbelievably good. <laughs> right. Good one. Now, Yvonne, if you can. Try to pick your favorite food. Oh my god! That they saw in this video because we've had a lot. We've had a yes, lot. We've had a lot of food. Oh my favorite! Oh my gosh! That's so hard. Very but hard. I have to say one of my favorite Bulgarian food that we've tried: the tripe soup. I think really? it's still. I think it's kembe chorba. Don't tell me that the tripe soup here is better than Romania. Oh my Are you gosh. gonna say it? Will you let? All your Romanian fans down. They're both good. What they're, will they, Ivana say? They Ivana, different. Ivana, the truth will set you free. <laughs> you must be honest. Speak, they taste speak from your heart. 
maybe on Saturday I prefer Romanian chorba. On Sunday I prefer the Bulgarian one. I know. But they're both so good. Ivana, they're different tastes for sure. I know you well enough to know you think the Bulgarian one's better. You're embarrassed no, to admit no, no. it. You think like the Bulgarian both. chorba tripe is better <laughs> than chorba de Borta. I know you do. I can see you. I can choose. I can choose. I can choose. Oh, I'm sorry. And also, okay, I'm just gonna change the subject. <laughs> beef tongue, amazing. Beef tongue in butter. That was one of the highlights. Yes. But I would also give a massive shout out to the restaurant in Sofia that we've been to five times. They got ah. good food over there. They got really, really good food. Really good food, good price. Just yeah. Take out. Very good. Very good. Okay, there you have it, everybody. Uh, What's your favorite? You guys choose. Favorite food in Bulgaria? Mm -hmm. In terms of single eating experience. Yeah. I really like the traditional restaurant in the park. Okay. They had very nice food there. Oh, yes. That's what um, we tried. You know what it was for me? Tribes. Honestly? The rakia. <laughs> the fresh rakia from a plastic bottle, oh, homemade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was memorable because I'm not even sure the rakia was on the menu. Right, right. I'm not even sure they charged us for that rakia. I think it was right. just like, hey, we have this. You're a tourist. Want to try it? Yeah. But really the best food is the beef tongue, come on, it's so good. Yes, it has beef tongue. Tongue. amazing. All right, there you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Latest skaters. Stay tuned for a whole video in this beautiful place. The former capital of the second Bulgarian Empire. Nice. Maybe now we're in the third Bulgarian Empire. <laughs> Modern Bulgarian. Modern Empire right now. Later.